What's up everybody? Welcome to my ultimate gaming room slash PC build setup. It's been a work in progress now for some time and I finally feel like it's ready to show off. This is a Blizzard Entertainment themed room. For those of you who are gaming fans and especially Blizzard fans, this one's for you. I wanted to make a room that was not only fun to play games in, but also functional as an office for work. Let's go ahead and have a quick view of the room. These pictures I got in the Warcraft 3 Collector's Edition box, which I thought were cool. So I put them in frames and I've kept them for all these years. For those of you who are Warcraft fans, you may recognize some of these characters. This is the famous Gromash Helm Scream, which I bought from the Blizzard store. Uh, I was a bit skeptical of the quality at first, but he's by far one of my favorite and very detailed. Uh, he stands 18 inches tall from the base. I also found the Horde banner on sale, so I thought I'd pick it up to add to the background and make it kind of cool. This shelf sits above my PC along with Kerrigan here. Uh, she's from Sideshow Toys, is made of polystone, and stands almost two feet tall. I just checked Sideshow and she's all sold out. Limited edition of 2250. Uh, you can find them on eBay, but they're going to be quite expensive. She is uh, a beautiful statue, very detailed. Next to her sits my Heart of the Swarm Collector's Edition box, which is just a great showpiece on its own. And here is Jim Rayner. Uh, he's an articulating statue from Sideshow Toys. Uh, because he has moving parts, he feels more like a very expensive and heavy action figure. He is very detailed on his armor and weapons, and he has LEDs on his suit that light up, uh, but it's almost pointless to turn them on. Because he has moving parts, he's easily breakable, and he's not one of my favorite of the bunch, but still cool nonetheless. The monitors are a 27-inch ASUS PB278Q 1440p monitor, and next to it's the 24-inch Dell UltraSharp U2410. Now on to my custom PC build. I wanted to go with black and white theme with a hint of blue. The case is a Corsair 760T, which I absolutely love. It runs extremely cool and quiet. All the fans, cooler, power supply, and cables are also Corsair. I uh, recently upgraded to the MSI Crate 170A board with the Skylake 6600K running at 4.1 GHz. I'm still running my old R290 which I'll be looking at upgrading to a 1070 GTX later this year. RGB LEDs from NZXT line the case and you can check full specs of the PC which will be listed below. On to peripherals. This is the Corsair K70 RGB with Cherry MX Brown switches. I absolutely love this keyboard for both typing and gaming. I found some really cool profiles on Corsair's website and uh, there's some talented people making some custom profiles on there so if you get a chance check it out. And my current mouse is the Logitech 502 Proteus Core. It's uh, the best sensor for gaming so far and probably the most comfortable mouse I've used in a while. The pad is the Razer Firefly RGB. It's a great surface for my mouse and the customizable RGB lighting is really cool. Although it is a bit on the expensive side at 50 plus dollars. For my headset I'm rocking the Rocat Cave XTD 5.1. Uh, what really sold me on these is three things. Uh, three individual sound drivers give a superior positional audio than a pair of virtual headsets. 
Uh, the second is at the touch of a button, the controller which sits on my desk. I can quickly switch between my headset and my desktop speakers, which are a set of Logitech THX certified. The third, and one that's probably the most sold me on, is the fact that these have a Bluetooth which I can connect them to my phone. So when I'm gaming, I can gladly answer a call mid-game, which will mute my game sounds. And I can have a conversation via my headset or desktop speakers without having to hold my phone, which I'm hoping we'll start to see more of in the future. If there is one drawback to this headset, it's that the cable is not braided and the rubber cable can twist and get caught easily. It makes the clean desk look a little messier than I would like. Which brings me to the last thing I want to talk about my setup. Cable management. Keeping the cables clean and hidden is no small task. Luckily my desk has some space behind it which I use to hide a majority of the cables. Zip ties and velcro helps as well. Uh, if you're running dual monitors there is nothing that will make your desk look neater than a monitor stand and it really gave me a lot more space as well as made everything look that much cleaner. I mounted a surge protector and some zip ties under my desk so no cables would be shown. The way my PC sits makes it hard to see any cables as well. Uh, if I didn't hate wireless headsets so much, I would consider getting one, perhaps in the future. The last piece I wanted to show off is this custom canvas piece I had my brother who is an artist paint for me back in 2003. It's airbrushed with oil painting and for those of you who are Warcraft fans, you'll recognize this as an opening cutscene from Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos, where a foot soldier stands ready to charge at the coming horde. It's 24 by 32, and uh, this is uh, one of my favorite, if not my favorite piece in the room, because it is one of a kind. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments and questions below, and I'll see you guys on Battle.net.